Hey everybody, this is Barbara Mendez and I'm a nutritionist and I'm also a pharmacist and for today's Motivational Monday, I'm going to talk to you about an issue that I've been seeing more of in my practice and the doctors that I've been working with have also seen a rise in this particular situation among their patients and that issue is mercury toxicity. Mercury toxicity seems to be on the rise, and the reason for that is that more and more people are choosing fish as a protein source rather than chicken or beef in order to reduce their cholesterol, improve their cardiovascular wellness, and help to prevent cancer. But in doing so, they're consuming lots of fish that may have mercury, and in turn, that's leading to mercury toxicity. The only way to know if you have too much mercury in your body is to have your blood test taken by your doctor so that you can see what your results are. But there are symptoms that you might be experiencing without necessarily getting that blood test that might point to mercury toxicity, and those things are skin rashes, uh, inflamed gums or discolored gums, uh, mood disturbances, difficulty sleeping, anxiety, depression. But of course, those types of symptoms are kind of universal. People can have those symptoms for, a for various reasons. But if you have those symptoms and they seem to have come out of nowhere or they've been gradually getting worse, then you might want to talk to your doctor about having your blood test taken to see if you have mercury toxicity, particularly if you eat a lot of fish. So what do you do once you get your results back? Well, there's lots that you can do. And today I'm going to talk to you about the foods that you should be incorporating into your diet to help reduce mercury and clear it from your system. All right, so how do we get mercury out of our bodies? Well, for the average healthy adult, it should take about three months for you to be able to clear mercury from your system. If you have a liver disease, if you have a kidney problem, then it could take longer and it might be a little bit more challenging for you to clear mercury, but it does not mean that you can't do it. So today I'm going to talk to you about the foods that you should be including in order to make that happen. So there are supplements that you can take, but before you go to the supplements, I have found that just by following some simple practices, you can do it on your own through food. So what do you do if you suspect you have mercury toxicity or you've been diagnosed with mercury toxicity? Well, the very first thing you should do is avoid all fish. Just cut it out of your diet for three months and that is one drastic way to help reduce your mercury intake and therefore it helps to clear more mercury from your body. Instead, have chicken in smaller portions, choose more vegetarian options, have more beans, more lentils, things like quinoa, salads, root vegetables, and try to supplement your diet and your intake in that way so, so that you can eliminate fish and not necessarily miss it as a protein source. So that would be suggestion number one. Suggestion number two would be to optimize liver function. So avoid things like alcohol, Tylenol, things that we know are damaging to the liver. Avoid all unnecessary medications and drugs. And also include foods in your diet that help to optimize liver function. If you're not sure what those foods are, you can refer to my liver detoxification uh, video where I talk about the top seven foods that I recommend for liver health. So cleaning your liver would be suggestion number two. Suggestion number three include garlic in your diet. So garlic contains sulfur compounds that bind mercury and help to eliminate it from your system. So raw is better if you can do it. If not, even cooked garlic would be great, but include lots of garlic into your diet and that will help facilitate the removal of mercury. Suggestion number four is to include cilantro in your diet. If you like cilantro, it contains vitamin A, which also helps to chelate out mercury out of your system and help to remove it from your body. So including cilantro, chopping it into salads would be great. Making recipes with it, that would be suggestion number four. Suggestion number five is to include Brazil nuts in your diet. They contain selenium, which helps to de detox mercury from your system. So about four Brazil nuts a day should do it. You can have it as a four o'clock snack. Suggestion number six, include pumpkin seeds in your diet. So about a quarter of a cup a day should do it. Pumpkin seeds contain zinc and magnesium. Both are important minerals to help remove mercury from your body. Pumpkin seeds would be number seven. So pumpkin seeds contain cysteine, which is an amino acid that actively detoxifies mercury from your body. Helps produce more glutathione in your system as well, which is your master antioxidant. So including sunflower seeds in your diet, again, about a quarter of a cup a day would be another great way to detox mercury. In addition to all of that, other suggestions include include flax in your diet, ground up flax seeds, because this will help you have a more thorough and complete bowel function, because as you're chelating mercury out of your system, you want to eliminate it through the bowels. So having ground flax in your oatmeal or on your cereal is another great thing you can do, and also make sure that you get plenty of water in your diet, again, to help with healthy bowel function and also with the process of detoxification. So there are some easy 
easy, delicious ways that you can get mercury out of your body so that you can move yourself towards optimal health. So just so that you're aware, mercury toxicity can happen not just from, from eating fish, but it can also happen if you have a lot of fillings in your mouth. So if you have lots of those, or if you've broken thermometers and you play with the mercury inside, which is definitely not a good idea, then all those things together can definitely lead to mercury toxicity. So if you've demonstrated symptoms that I mentioned earlier, like skin rashes, brain fog, things like that, and you have lots of fillings in your mouth, and you eat a lot of fish, then you might want to go talk to your doctor and have your blood checked, blood checked to see what your mercury levels are. It takes just three months of the suggestions that I offered to help clear it from your system. So then once you know, you can start working on it and then have yourself retested. So here's what I'm going to do for you. Below this video, I'm going to have two handouts for you. One is going to be a list of all the fish, that, the fish that's highest in mercury and those that are the least amount of mercury so that you know which ones are the best for you to eat and how often you should be having them and also which ones you should be avoiding. I'm also going to attach a recipe that I got from a client of mine who in turn got it from her nutritionist in Telluride, Colorado. So this client has two homes and so when she's here she sees me and when she's there she sees, she sees a woman by the name of Lynn Mayer who gave her a recipe for a cilantro pesto that includes cilantro, garlic, pumpkin seeds, Brazil nuts, and sunflower seeds that you can easily make into a nice spread and make it with pasta or put it on your vegetables and incorporate it in your diet on a regular basis without having to be mindfully eating each one of these things every single day. It's delicious, it's easy to make, and it's great for you, so we'll have that information for you below as well. So there you have another great suggestion to help move you towards your health goals by just eating great and delicious food. Mercury toxicity is a pretty serious issue, so you definitely want to be on top of it, find it if you have it, and get rid of it as fast as possible. So including these foods on a regular basis will help you do that. But I also want to hear from you. Have you ever had any funky symptoms that in turn ended up being mercury toxicity? If so, let us know what they were so that we can hear from you what your experience was. And also I want to hear from you, what did you do to get rid of it? Did you take medication? Did you do supplements? Or did you do it through food? Whatever it was, please give us your feedback. Now, if you like tips like this and you're looking for other ways, suggestions, inspiration, ways to move you closer to your health goals, then come on over to rootsandseeds.com and you can sign up for my mailing list there. Once you do, you will automatically get updates from me, whether it's a video or a written blog with some suggestions, some recipes, some bit of inspiration to help move you along towards your health goals. If you want to know more about me and my nutrition practice, then check out barbaramendezzenutrition.com. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter, share the video, whatever you do, keep taking care of yourself and be happy. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks so much.